Hello everyone, we're back uh, for a new video. Earlier this week we presented you the new ProMaster 2022 chassis and it's a different upgrade. But this time uh, we're going to present you all the new things for the Panoramic RV 2022 model. We built this one on a 2021 chassis, so don't worry if you see this. This is just a special unit. But we're going to be able to show you all the new things, all the new upgrade that we did uh, for this year uh, model. So let's uh, get going with this. So the first thing we want to show you is the new control panel of the panoramic. So with our passion for design and uniformity, we blended all the new gauges into uh, the new control panel. We also integrate the Victron monitor for the lithium battery. And we'll talk a little bit later about the new uh, lithium options. But now uh, with the lithium battery standard on all panoramic, we have that monitor there. We did another something special. We wanted to give a little punch to the logo of the panoramic. So we integrated the uh, very small animation as you uh, push the uh, start button on the uh, panoramic. So for 2022, we now have two options for air conditioner. The first one is a simple upgrade from the classic Dometic air conditioner to the Truma Aventa air conditioner. So the same manufacturer, Truma, that makes the great uh, Combi Eco Plus heater and water heater that we use, is now making this uh, great air conditioner. First thing with it is that it's really quiet uh, compared to uh, the original Dometic uh, air conditioner. But the second thing is that it now is so efficient in terms of electricity that it will allow the system to be run uh, completely uh, independent or in a fully autonomous uh, mode. So therefore we have a new option this year is the possibility to get a full package together where we double the lithium power pack. We also introduce a larger 3000 watt inverter and we combine all this with the Truma Aventa. With that package someone will be able to run the AC completely off the grid for a period of time between four to six hours depending on exterior temperature. So for someone who uh, just want to lower the temperature and uh, humidity before going to bed, you could do that for 30 minutes and an, or an hour. And if you have a, a small pet that you want to leave on board while, while you're going to be uh, outside of the RV for maybe shopping just an hour, then you can maintain an acceptable temperature uh, using that system. So the best way to uh, give you a good idea on the Truma Aventa is to start it. So the first thing that I did is I turned on the inverter, the 3000 watt inverter on the control panel. And now I'm going to activate through the original Truma Combi uh, control panel here at the back. I'm going to activate the Truma Aventa. So I can now select the AC system and I can turn it to cooling, select my temperature and get it going. Now it's going to activate on the low speed. It's going to give us an idea on the noise level. Now, if we want to make a comparison, I'm going to turn the Truma Aventa to the high speed and that will give you an idea of what, how much uh, noise the, the original Dometic is producing. Of course, at that kind of speed, it's very difficult to hear anything have a conversation. Now I'm bringing the speed back to the night mode because the Truma also offered that night mode which reduce even more the, le the noise level uh, of the AC. So that gives you an idea of how uh, much noise it can make. Much better than what it used to be. So the last thing we had to do to allow for the larger inverter and the larger battery pack was to do a little bit of repackaging. So originally our, our inverter and the batteries were located under the bench seat. We moved all the batteries to the back, to the left side of the drawer in the sidewalls. We can put either the regular uh, lithium pack 220 amp hour or we can go to the larger one with 440 amp hours. So, we also move the inverter here in that last drawer so we can have the 2000 watt inverter or the 3000 watt inverter right here. Now we have a quick access because we also 
uh, added a battery disconnect here. So you don't need to get physical access to the batteries. If you are winterizing, storing the RV for a long period of time, then you can simply uh, pop the panel and access to the battery disconnect. You also have access uh, to the hard reset of the inverter or if you need to do any repair on the inverter, it's easily uh, accessible. So uh, some of you might think that we lost some storage space because of that uh, drawer. Well, in fact, we gained all the storage below the bench seat. So. At the end of the day, we even gain some uh, cubic inches of uh, storage and it's also with an easier access since we don't have to walk outside to, uh, to get access to that storage. So we have a couple more things to show you and we'll see that in the, uh, in the next part. A few more things for 2022. So this outlet light here on the side uh, it becomes standard for 2022. It will help eliminate the side of the truck, but also provide an easier connection if you arrive late at night. Now let me show you a few more things here at the back. So first thing we had as standard is an electrical uh, outlet here in the cargo. For those who have electric bikes and want to put the charger here, it's possible to do that. This is standard. We have another a new optional light, this one uh, can be added for people who have bike racks and uh, bike cover. Sometimes those cover will block the backup lights of the truck, so this additional light will help uh, eliminate the back of the truck as you're backing on a site or somewhere. We'll show you more things inside. Few more things for 2022. So we've added shelves in every cabinet. We wanted to maximize the loading capacity. So here at front, we made those shelves, but also back there in the room on both sides, we have those extra shelves. We've also added a very small shelf here in the shower to allow space for small towels or maybe your shampoo. So you can now use the space for that. Now you remember the famous wine cellar, so we've made some change to it. We kept space for bottles of wine, but we also made those shelves now removable and you can stack them at the bottom. So if you remove all of them, now you end up with a much larger space. If you have something else you want to store or you're not drinking wine, who knows? Well, now you can, you can change the usage of that uh, space. More things for 2022, a new intimacy curtain for the room so we can snap this up here and if you want to create a separation between the living area and the room, we now have this as a standard. We also still have the regular mattress with the foam core here. Uh, always had a great reputation for the comfort of the mattress in the panoramic but we also came with a new option. We always want to push the boundaries of comfort. So uh, we uh, now have an optional mattress with a foam core and an additional two inches layer of latex. Uh, yes, it's an expensive material, but again, this provides a comfort like nothing else uh, on the market. So this will be available in 2022 uh, as an option or as a replacement mattress. One more thing we improve is the cabin blind. We changed the Velcros for magnets so it's easier to put on and we've also improved the fabric at the same time. So this is it for all the new things and new options on the Panoramic 2022. Uh, a lot of the new things uh, that we implemented this year came from suggestions and recommendations from owners and future owners and sometimes there's people who are simply watching those videos so we really appreciate uh, you uh, watching them and following us so please share this video and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next one soon now the last thing we had to do in order to allow for the larger inverter and the larger battery pack for the uh, Oh.